Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name's Chris Wayne and in this one, we're gonna be talking about how to create the perfect Facebook ad so you can instantly up your dropshipping game. If your click-through rates are less than 1% on your Facebook ads, your ads could do with some work. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking over the perfect video ad structure and I'm also gonna be showing you how to create those video ads even if you don't have any video editing experience. If you find any of the information in this video helpful, please make sure to drop this video a like. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and I do really appreciate all your support. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. It really does mean a lot. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you will know that historically I've been using Animoto to create my video ads. And it's kind of the ad software that I've been using for pretty much every single one of my stores, unless I actually get those ads outsourced. So Animoto has been a big player and a big part of my success with dropshipping. But more recently, a lot of you guys have been getting in touch saying Animoto is quite expensive and as a beginner without a massive budget, you wanted something a little bit cheaper. So that got me on a bit of a mission to try and find something that was cheaper for you guys to run on a monthly basis, but also something that could be potentially better than Animoto because I always like to try and over deliver to you guys. So I want to provide value. I want to give you sort of new things that come to the market and new ideas and new potential with dropshipping that I start using myself. And after a bit of searching, I think I've found something that could potentially be the replacement to Animoto. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through an app called InVideo. So let's jump right into it. So InVideo is an online app that allows you to create different types of ads for your business. You can create Facebook story ads, YouTube ads, Instagram story ads, Facebook newsfeed and Instagram post ads all within the InVideo application. What I like about InVideo is that it comes with, I think it's like over 3000 pre-built templates. So you can get ideas, you can get inspiration, you can use these and then tweak them into however you want your business to show. So it kind of gives you an idea on what kind of graphics you can run. And it basically just gives you an overview of what really is possible with the different kind of options within InVideo. And there's loads of different styles here, no matter what kind of niche you're in, no matter what kind of product you're trying to sell, a lot of these are gonna be very useful for you and your business. And a lot of them are really gonna make you stand out from the crowd. So there's all sorts of different things, different kind of graphics. I'll just scroll down here, we've got little things like this. And it really just gives you a lot of inspiration around what you can actually do with your ads. Now for a lot of people, myself included, I like to start with blank templates and then build it however I kind of need for my business. But if you wanted inspiration, if you wanted to use these as a baseline and tweak them for different types of ads you're running, then these are really great just to go in there and actually build off the back of. What InVideo also does, it allows you to take articles or blogs that you have on your website and turn them into videos. So you can import the text, import the blogs, import the articles, and then InVideo will start to create ads based on the text that is inside those, those articles. However, for the majority of you, myself included, I like starting with a blank template. So that's what I'm gonna be showing inside of this video. And because I wanna create a Facebook ad, I'm gonna use the square function to allow me to get the most real estate on Facebook when I'm trying to advertise within the news feeds. So if I just go in here and click start editing, we'll end up in the InVideo dashboard. And this is where you start to create your timeline, create your storyboard, and where you can start to piece together all your ad and all the different graphics and text that you want to appear within the ad itself. So as this is the default, kind of layout from video. As you can see here, there's a little logo option. And what I do like about InVideo, if I just go over into the, into the profile here and show you, you can actually go to brand presets and upload your branded logo. So whenever you create an ad, it will automatically populate this logo here with your brand logo. And when you do upload a logo, it's automatically gonna adjust these colors here to what InVideo thinks suits your brand. So you can kind of keep your branded color scheme throughout your ads as well by having these changed when you upload the logo. So that logo option is really good for having all of your ads, all of your clips, having that kind of branded watermark on there as well, which is gonna really kind of personalize your brand. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of the dashboard. On the left-hand side here, you have the media option. And within here, as you can see, there's over a million images and videos that you can search for. So let's just say if you were doing an ad about dogs and you're doing some sort of pet niche product, you have all these different videos here that are completely copyright free that you can include within your ad as like filler sections or any kind of emotional triggers that you want within your ad, you can include them all in here. And that's the same for the images as well. If I just search for dog in there, there's just loads and loads of images and clips that you can use uh, within your ad completely for free. Then there's all the different background music, so you can start to include different background music on your ads. So you've got things like, like this one. And there's things down here. 
and they all come in these different categories to depend on kind of what kind of theme your ad wants to portray to your customers. You have all the different ones in here. And then when you do have one, this is the default one. It's already playing down here. If I wanted to have this 1973 one, I can just click select. And now it's gonna have the 1973 set in the background here. Then within the text function, this is where you can actually add all the different text to your ad. So you can either do standard text where you're just using the H1, H2 kind of settings, or you can use these already made text boxes. So you've got the classic text boxes, modern text boxes, you've got social media credits, location boxes, and kind of funky, more cartoony boxes. So let's just go with, let's go with the classic. We'll have a look in here. There's all these different types. So if I wanted to have one of these on my scene, what I can do, if I just delete these out now, and we'll go with a, just a blank background for now. If I just say wanted this one, I can add it onto my text and resize it down here. And then if I wanted to change the color of this part here, I can highlight it, go to colors, and I can change the text color here. So if we want to go for a red, if our branded theme was a red, we could do that. And that's how easy it is. So if I just click play on this so you can see this, that's how it zooms in. But if we didn't want it zooming in from there, we wanted it coming in from the left, we can change that. So if I just click on here and go animation, and then click on the none, and let's just say we want it to fade, shift, slide in from the left. We can do that. Click play now. It kind of comes in from the left, but it's still a little bit, kind of comes over the top. And I want it to kind of slide in left to right. So we click back on the text box again, and go text box animation. And instead of having it from zoom from out, we'll have it, let's do uh, wipe from left. Let's try that. Click play scene, slides in like that. So it's really easy to tweak these different text boxes. And as you can see here, we have a 12 second clip. So I can easily just adjust the length of that clip like so. And I can also easily edit the scene duration here as well. So let's just say I wanted a three second clip at the beginning, I can do that. And my first clip would be that, which lasts three seconds. So that's kind of how easy it is to add text and tweak text. So if you just go to the stickers here, there's a bunch of different stickers to do with businesses, call to actions, comics, corporations, crime, you know, it's, it's basically very much like Canva. If you've ever used Canva, it's very similar to Canva, but in video form and it's, it's a really powerful tool. Now I like my ads to be quite simple and I'll show you how, how I would create these and and get all this linked together. Now I'm not very creative, but you might be really creative. You might be able to come up with all sorts of things. So let's just say if we were, do, we're doing something around dogs, let's see what there is. So there's these little icons here, and these again are completely, completely free to use within your, within your ad. And you can have these and add these in however you want and then animate them however you see fit. Then the next section on here is, is all around effects. You can put different fireworks effects in here, different lighting effects, smoke and powder effects. It really comes down to, you know, how you want to create your ad and what kind of products it is. So if I just added in this smoke effect here and then click play, you see it's doing something like that. So it really, it really depends on the product, the brand, the image you want to portray to your customers, but there's a ton of stuff you can do in here and it's so simple to do. You literally don't need any skill with video editing at all. You can just click and point and drag and whatever you want to include in here, you can do. So if I just want to get rid of that smoke now, what I would do, I'll click on over, overlay here and just click delete and now that's gone. So let's just say I didn't like the color of this background. What I can do over here is uh, go to the change project colors and I can actually apply my branding colors that come from when you insert it within your, within your profile or I can go to custom and actually just change these myself. So let's just say I did have a, a red color scheme. Do that. And then if I didn't want the black background, say if I wanted a white background, I could do that. And then this white here, I could have it as a black and that would be my text. And then when I click play on that, it's going to look something like that. So you just basically got to tweak this with the color schemes that you want for your business and for the product that you're trying to sell. And there's a bunch of different elements in here. So lines, outlines, you know, different kind of shapes that you can do and include them within your, within your ad. And again, like I said, you know, it all comes down to creativity. I'm not very creative, but you might be really creative when it comes to graphic design or anything like that. And you can literally do whatever you want here. You're just limited by your own creativity. And then there's the enhancers, which are all around collage layouts, masks, so you can hide particular sections of your ad to cover things up. So then finally you have the uploads. This is where you can upload your own clips, your own product videos, any kind of media that you want to include in your ad. 
and to get it onto the ad all you need to do is click and drag it over and you can drop it in. So as you can see this is a little bit squished so what I can do is I can either just manually adjust this myself, something like this, or I can go on to the video resizing options and start to either stretch to screen, crop to screen, fit with transparent, or fit with blur. And if I click play on this, that's the first three seconds of my ad. So from here, what you can do, obviously we need to, we need to edit these clips a little bit. So if I just click in here and go onto video edit, I can start to trim this video down. So let's just say I wanted just this portion of the ad here. I just click and play on that. Let's just say I wanted that portion. If I click done, it's gonna trim my video. And then when I click play now, it's gonna do something like that. So obviously you can tweak this and get it exactly how you want. Fit whatever, obviously whatever media you've uploaded, you can fit it in there. And then all you really need to do after that is click on these little three dots, duplicate. And when you duplicate the scene, you now have two of the same clips. So in this second scene here, what we'll do, we'll click on it, we'll video edit this, and we can trim this down a little bit further. So let's just say I wanted uh, something a bit further on in this clip. Now, if you've got multiple clips, obviously you can use all the different media you've got and, and drag them on instead, but I've only got one clip here to show you. So I'm just gonna show you using this one clip. So if I click done on that, and we'll include the second clip, and then we can change the text. Now, obviously you wouldn't use don't stop believing that was just the kind of the default thing that I didn't have. So let's just say um, we could have, let's just go protect your knees. Obviously you could write better text than this for me. I'm just showing this as an example. And then on this clip here, what we could do, we could change it over here and say, use our strap. Again, you can come up with something better than this, but I'm just showing you as part of this example. So we then play all the scene, so we can see it from the beginning. Something like that. And obviously then you can have multiple scenes within here to have different clips showing, different angles, you change your text on each one. If you want to add multiple different kind of elements, such as your text, your stickers, you can drag them all on and really start to create your timeline for your ad. Another feature within here, you can go to the advanced timeline and you can start to see every section of your ad in a more advanced timeline, similar to how you would see it on any kind of video editing software. So if we just go to scene one, we can see scene one here, and as the protect your knees bit comes in on half a second, maybe we want that to come in a little bit later. So if we change it to a second, and if we play that, it now comes in after a second. And if we go to scene two, again, this one's coming in after a second, but let's just say we want that to, that to come in a little bit later. We go to two seconds, if we play that now, it comes in a bit later. So you can really simply tweak your ad to however you actually want to see it and really start to build it out to however you need to show your product in order to increase your click-through rates on your ads. Another option within here is you can actually add voiceovers. So if you have voiceovers that you want to include in your ads, you can do that through this option here. All your editing sections are on the right-hand side, so whatever you click, you get all the different options that you can tweak and change depending on the element that you've selected. And then there's also a virtual assistant. And when you click that, it's gonna analyze the scene and give you recommendations based on what it thinks you can improve on. So what this is now saying is that it thinks I should change the fit type to fit with transparent. So if I click resolve, it's gonna do that. It basically tells me then that my ad starts to look better. And you can ignore some of these as well if you don't wanna change them. And it's gonna basically do that. It's, it's kind of like a nice little way just to get the system to analyze your ad to see if there's anything that you've missed. And then finally, if you do get stuck, there's always a live chat um, where you can reach out to them and ask, and ask questions to do with whatever you're stuck on. Really useful to have here. They can really help you and guide you through uh, the software in order to help you finish off your ad. When you are happy with your ad and you've got everything set up and your music's fine, your text is fine, you're happy with the final look and feel, you can click preview and export and export this and download it to your computer and then upload it to Facebook so you can start to advertise with it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a finished video ad that I've created for a different product, but I'm gonna show you what it can all look like when you have all the product videos in there and when you start to add different texts that are actually relevant to the product you're trying to sell.
So now that you know there's an app available that allows you to create these video ads and you know how to create these video ads, the only thing left remaining to tell you is the perfect video ad structure. This ad structure has allowed me to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars using Facebook ads. Every single one of my successful videos follows this structure and it's something now that I've put in place and it's become a little bit of a blueprint to how I build my entire ad structures and they all follow this similar pattern. Every single video ad that you create should have simple, short and easy to read captions. The first few clips of that video should grab the attention of the viewer and show them the problem that that product solves. Because problem solving products are one of the biggest types of winning products out there. When you are creating the video ad, you want to make that video ad seem native and viral and not an actual ad. So don't make it salesy. Make it seem like it's a viral trend on Facebook. Make it seem like it's friends just sharing footage. Make it seem fun and interesting rather than just trying to sell something all the time. And at the end of the video, you want to include a call to action, something along the lines of audios today, click the link below, tag a friend who needs this. Something that entices that customer to do an action at the end of the video to come to your website and buy from you. So that's the perfect video ad structure if you want to create a powerful dropshipping Facebook ad. If you are interested in using video, there is a link to it in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you want to support the channel, you can click that. If not, no worries, just go over to Google and search for it that way. But if you want to save a little bit more money, you can use the code CHRIS25 at checkout and that's going to give you 25% off your InVideo subscription. So it does make it a little bit cheaper for you guys to, to jump on and create those videos. So hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, please drop me a like on this video. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any questions, any comments, drop them down below. I am still answering everything. But that's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.